Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm actually going to use a world that I've been working on. Um, it's currently just called Fishing Village, but it is a work in progress, and eventually, when I'm finished with it, it will be available for download. And it is a fairly interesting, uh, interesting world that I've been working on. So, close those. So, to demonstrate, I'm going to go into the farmer's market here. And we got our beautiful item frames of everything that's available here. And believe it or not, everything that's on the wall, except the milk, I believe, is available through Thomas here. And Thomas is a custom NPC. So, when you right click on him, he has a few different uh, options here. So this one says, hello, horse crazy. That's uh, my game name. And then he has a list of all these things. So everything's available except the milk, like I said. So you can have sugar, you can get carrots. Uh, raw beef, raw chicken, wheat, apples, raw fish, raw pork, raw turkey from the milk creatures thing. Obviously, I can change that and put milk in there if I wanted to. Uh, cocoa beans, eggs, melons, potatoes, seeds, and different mushrooms. So, and then if I right click on them again, he's supposed to have a couple different text options. How come he's not? Uh, there we go. Welcome to the farmer's market is one of his other text options. So, if I come out here, well, I don't really have to leave the building, but let's just say I want to buy something from the market. So I need diamond, iron, gold, and an emerald. Um, there we go. And you can have it set up for any kind of currency. So I have it set up for these four items. Obviously, you can have it set up that if you give them leather or... If you give him the crops, he'll give you something. Um, the mod itself gives you gold coins, diamond coins, emerald coins, wooden, stone, bronze, and iron. So obviously you can have it set up with coins as well. But I like having it set up with something that's not mod related. Just for simplicity. So if I go back in here, right click on Thomas, and say I want 8 carrots. So, you have one option here. And you need to put that currency in that box. So, for example, I put the diamond in. And none of these other things you can click on, nothing happens. But, say I wanted the eight carrots. Once you put a diamond in here, you click on the carrots. And voila! I can bring eight carrots to my inventory, and then that diamond disappears. So technically, you paid him for those eight carrots. Put a diamond in there, I can get uh, whatever I want out of the or emerald. So I pick ten mushrooms. Iron ingot, I want five chicken, gold, I'm going to take the five turkey. And voila! So, that's how he operates. And then if we go next door to the gift shop and household items, we can talk to Matthew. Now, Matthew has a different skin, and he just gave me a complimentary uh, sapling. So if you right click on, he can say hello to the player name, or my name is Matthew, how may I help you? And then another one is welcome to the gift shop and household items. And then obviously we have the same kind of thing going on. So if I move my complimentary sapling, get rid of this stuff, give myself an emerald. Now both of these are what's called the trader role. So then you can set up a trading system. So you know what? I want a jukebox. And obviously to go with that jukebox I would need a music disc, but I don't want a music disc, I want a clock. And then I could probably use a fishing pole, it's a fishing village after all, and I'm in need of some flower pots. So that's how that works, that's the trading system. And then, yeah, so Let's go out here, and for example, I'm just going to go into one of these random houses. Oh, I guess there was one right across, oh well. So, you need to go to your crafting table in order to make the spawner for the NPCs. You need to make what's called an NPC wand, and it kind of looks like a wooden, a wooden hoe, but it's not quite a wooden hoe, so what you need you need bread and you need sticks. So, first of all, if you make a shovel, 
recipe. You get your mob spawner. It's a bread shovel. And then you can get your NPC wand. And I believe there's one more. Yes, there is. There's an axe. Like that. And you get your NPC cloner. So, if I just get rid of those. And then, obviously, uh, your NPC, you right click with your NPC cloner, and this is the GUI that you get. Um, slot zero, etc., etc. Next page, you have up to up to 197 slots. So that's really good, and it'll. And then for your mob spawner, your shovel, you right click. And it gives you all the mobs that are available in the game. Vanilla mobs, and if you happen to have uh, a mod installed, like I do, I have the mo creatures installed. So you can see bat, bee, bird, boar, that is also all an option. So, you know what? I want to spawn. Well, nothing that's going to harm my house. I'm gonna spawn a fishbowl. So you click on it, you spawn, and then voila, you have this cool little fishbowl that has now been spawned in front of you. And I actually don't even want it in this house, so I'm just gonna hopefully destroy it ah, without destroying the rest of the house. And then, also with the cool little mob spawner shovel. If I click on any one of them, and let's just use the bee as an example, create mob spawner, and then I have this beautiful bee spawner now. So the cool thing is, with uh, mo creatures you can't actually do this, and obviously the bee doesn't survive very long. And now it's not quite working as well as it's supposed to, so I'm just going to delete that, fix my floor, and let's try another one. So, well, let's just use a and then you can make them for the NPCs as well if you want the NPCs to spawn. Um, I'm gonna do a sheep spawner. Whoops, I didn't do it right. Sheep, create mob spawner. There we go. And then eventually, we will actually get a sheep to spawn in here. So that's how that works. Oh my goodness, and I'm just breaking everything, aren't I? So, that's how the mob spawner works, and basically, that's really the only use it has. Spawn, cancel, create mob spawner, and then it gives you all the different options. So you can spawn pretty much anything. Apparently, wither bosses uh, are available too. So, with that said, we will move on to the NPC wand, and it probably has the most features. So, you right click anywhere, you get this whole giant GUI. So, you get one that automatically spawns looking like Steve, because that's the default texture. So, it says mob, human male, Steve. So, you can go to select texture, and it gives you all of the textures in the mob human male folder. So, there's Arctic Steve, looks rather interesting, Bodyguard Steve, Camo Radio Steve, Special Ops Steve, a regular Camo Steve, Casual Steve, Chef Steve, and then you can add on packs, and I will show you guys how to install those in the part 2 video, and then 
so I picked the civilian pack, and it's actually not as exciting as I thought. So I'm actually going to go and download some of the other packs to show you guys. But that is pretty much the civilian pack. Just gives you different colors of Steve. And then we have Dr. Steve, Elderly Steve. Come on, let's show Elderly Steve. Fire Steve. <laughs> Gangster Steve kind of makes me laugh. Come on. Guard Steve. Uh, Guard Steve 2. King Steve. So you can start recognizing, you'll probably recognize some of these some of these skins are actually used in Tales of Kingdoms. So obviously there's a lot of interaction that goes on with that mod. So there's Mage Steve, uh, Mickey D Steve, Mercenary 1, 2, um, a Minor Steve, Pinstripe Steve, a Priest, a Prisoner, Raggedy Bard Steve, Robes, Robot Helper, uh, Steampunk Steve, uh, Plain Steve. Who would have thought there'd be a Plain Steve? And then you have Townsman Steve, which is the one I used for Thomas. Trader Steve, uh, Tribe Boy, Tribe Elder, Tribe Hunter. Got a few different tribesmen. Tuxedo Steve, Old Villager Steve. Villager Steve, which is the one I used for Matthew. Waiter Steve. Wizard Steve. And Wounded Steve. And if you hit the back button, you can click Human Mail. And if you click Human Mail, it gives you all the others. So you have Crystal, Dwarf, Female, Dwarf, Male, Elf, uh, Chibi, Furry, um, Human, Female, Monster, Orc. Uh, pony, skeleton, and villager, which is just your regular everyday villagers. So I actually haven't taken a look at any of these. And if you guys want to take a look at all of them, you can download the mod. But I'm just going to go and select human female. And see what we got here. So they're all the same, minus the fact that they're Stephanie's instead. So they just have pink lips and blue eyes. I actually want to change that. Let's go and look at uh, Dorf. Oh, so cute. Then we have Blonde Dorf, Ginger Dorf. Or that one. Um, what do we got for Elf? Reminds me of Zelda. So if you really wanted to, you could almost recreate the entire Lord of the Rings. Ah! Enderman. Ender Ghost, Ender Chibi. Miss Ender Chibi. Well, that one was just scared the crap out of me. Wake up in the morning of Minecraft and see eyes looking at you. Oh, you can actually put a hero brine in here. It's creepy. So I'm just gonna stick with this one for now. Um you can change the size. Um, let's put 8 and see what 8 does. Whoa! Yeah, that's scary. Let's go back to 5. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more manageable. So, you can change all the things. You can change his name. I'm just going to put test or, uh, you can show the name or only show, or you can hide it or only show the name when he's attacking. I always have show. Unless you don't need it to show, depending on your use of the mod. And then you can pick a cloak. So if you select texture, there's a bloody cape, micon cape, brown, ragged, etc. And skull cape. So just for an example, I'm going to click dark brown. 
because it kind of matches the rest of the stuff. You can rotate head a certain degree if you wanted to be looking a certain direction. Standing, walking, sitting, lying down, sneak standing, sneak walking, dancing. Ooh, I want to see dancing. Oh, that's just cool. And standing. So normally I have it on standing, and they just kind of rotate around on the spot. If you put it on walking, they're going to walk around. Uh, walking range 5. So he's only going to walk around 5 blocks. At the most. So he will generally...